Hey, this is Willie from from um, Real Talk with Deb and Will, and um, go do something different. I um, Deb is out getting her hair done because she does that every other week or so. Um, she goes she goes to the, she goes to the the beauty parlor and she just likes being pampered. That she could do it herself. She's not one of those women who doesn't know how to do her own hair. She she's been doing her own hair for years and years and years. And you know every time you use her, she looks great. But um, she likes the idea of being pampered and stuff, and uh, doesn't know, doesn't understand why I don't go to the barber more often because she has such a great time at the hairdresser. Um, today, uh, a a surprise. Well, it was a surprise that I was getting before. It wasn't a surprise that it was coming. Um, arrived, and she's expecting that. But what she's not expecting is that for me to have started dinner. So I decided that I would start dinner. We had so we went to the store last week and brought some, bought some chicken drumsticks. Uh, and I thought that I would get them started anyway. So I made a marinade, and I'm going to slosh them around in the marinade a little bit, and then I'm going to put them on the I'm going to put them on a, on, on a pan and put them in the oven. Put them in the pan, which I've already sprayed now <clears throat> with a little olive oil. Because I don't want the chicken to be sticking. Uh, there you go. So again, we're doing, I'm just doing this by myself. So you'll just have to. I'll, I'll try not to swing the camera around too fast. All right. So let me get over to the. Mm, let's see. We've got a lot of stuff on this counter. That's for sure. All right. Here we go. You have to excuse my, but I want you to be able to see that there's some chicken in the marinade. Now, what did I make the marinade out of? Uh, I had a little tacos, I had a little taco sauce, um, and then because I like that vinegar flavor, a little balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar, um, some of this Louisiana hot sauce, and then some seasoned salt, some uh, some crushed red pepper, some salt and regular salt and pepper. Just to give it a little, fla little flavor, a little different flavor than the chicken. Now, I like chicken flavor. The flavor of chicken is really good, as a matter of fact. There's even, chick there's, there's even chicken flavored crackers, so you've got to like, you got to know that, 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 that chicken already tastes good all by itself. So what I'm going to do now, I bet this has been in here for a little bit. We took, I took these out yesterday out of the freezer, and it's been sitting in the uh, refrigerator defrosting. Let me swing it around to the stove. Let me get out of the way. There you go to the, to the stove. Well, it's, it's funny. A lot of YouTubers have this stove. Samsung, um, glass top stove. Like I said, I, I, I spade it down with a little olive oil. And we're going to take chicken out of a little marinade. It's covered really good. We got some flakes, some, some, uh, some red pepper flakes on it, a little bit. I'm going to lay it a few pieces down. It wasn't really... I had a big enough container, so I'm going to have to do this in shifts uh, to get all the deliciousness of the chicken. Fortunately, the chicken is still, it's not frozen, but it's really cold. So that's going to, that's going to give me a few minutes to do this. I don't have to be in an awful lot of hurry. I don't have to worry about salmonella poisoning or anything. All right, I'm put that back over there. Swing the camera back around with my non-food hand. All right. Dump some more of the chicken parts into the marinade. Something to give them a little, a little juicy, a little something, something. Now, I don't, I don't cook very often. Um, I don't prepare stuff very often. I can. I don't. Um, Debbie's a really smart cook and I'm, what I mean by smart cook is that she'll come home from work get out of the car literally get out of the car walk into the house walk directly into the kitchen and I guess have in her head what she has already and how she's going to use it 
and then does it. Doesn't take a lot of, I mean, a lot of pre-planning and stuff. She knows what she has in the house and she comes in and, and from the door to the stove and then puts together dinner. And as you can see, in 30 years, I've not missed many meals at home, that's for sure. So, I just kind of want to do a little something for, it to, for today. Uh, it, it, it's, it, and, and no, it's no special occasion, it's just, let's, let's do this. All right, so I'm going to put these on the thing too. All right, let's see here. Try to spread them out a little bit so they don't stick to each other. Get 10 pieces. I think there are 14 pieces in here total. Yeah, that worked out. That worked out good. I was thinking that I might run out of my juice here, but I'm not. It's actually perfect. It's going to give me a little bit to spread over it uh, a little later. There we go. Uh, listen, um, we appreciate uh, those of you who have subscribed to the YouTube channel and get notifications. Uh, real, we really appreciate it. Uh, we were talking last night. Um, we, we normally do Real Talk with Devin Will on, on Facebook Live first on Monday mornings. And we're blessed. It gets a lot of engagements. Um, normally a couple of hundred views. Each of the each of the programs gets a couple of hundred views, and um, we'd like to have the same sort of engagement here on on on, on YouTube. But I think we've come to the conclusion that our problem is that we do Facebook now. I don't want to say that in a way that alienates all the good people that Monday after Monday, but well, since February, follow us on Facebook. I don't want to alienate them in, in any way. Hang on, I need to wash my hands. But, um, we're not doing college classes. So, and there, and normally, let me, let me get this, oops, get this up here, move this around. And, and you know, and normally we don't have things that you need to watch, num, num, you know, numerous times. Um, normally, Deb and I are sitting at the table, talking, right? So I guess visually, it, it, it isn't so something that you'd want to watch more than once. So once you see it on Facebook, you probably won't watch it again. So for those of you YouTubers who are out there, my guess is that you guys didn't do Facebook Live first. My guess is that you went YouTube and you went YouTube only. So it is our goal here in the next year to just make that full transition to take the leap. Right. Um, so hopefully that works out for us. As you can see, it looks good. Just like that looks good. You want to see? You want to see? Come on, come on, come on, come on with me. Come on, come on with me. You see? See, already, it looks, it looks good. It's not even cooked, it's raw, and it looks good. So, I'm gonna crank the oven up. Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, duh. Bake this at about 365 degrees. And uh, pop that in there. Huh? Like that now. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, while that's doing this thing, and then I'm going to get me a cup of coffee. I can make a cup of coffee. Now, normally, Justin Wilson would have him a, you know, a cup of wine. <laughs> a cup of wine. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I, per 
personally don't imbibe um, in alcohol. Now, don't get, don't get silly. Don't get silly. I'm not somebody who is sending everybody who has a glass of wine to hell. Um, but a few, but but a number of years ago, I decided that I would that I've chosen not to imbibe. Golly, this is a, this has got to be the best corkscrew I have ever seen. Wow, pop that right out of it. However, we have a neighbor who um, whose mom makes homemade wine. I don't, I, don't even know, I don't even know what this, what, what kind of wine this is. Because of the label, some sort of fruit wine, because the label uh, fell off. So I'm going to take the, the, the last bit of this au jus. I'm going to pour a little wine in it. A little fruit wine in it. Add a little extra flavor. Then I'm going to baste my chicken in that right there. Now, I don't have any idea. <laughs> you think I've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> or can you tell I've never done this before? Uh, but I just came up with this idea while I was talking to you. So, I don't know how it's going to work out. I think it's going to work out well. I think it's going to work out good. I think we have a, an interesting uh, blend of flavors that should be delicious. And uh, so, we'll let you know. Uh, in a little bit, how that worked out. Thanks. This video, just for my little man, and I think it's going to be so happy. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried this before. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried this before, and I uh, tried to use another microphone, and it failed. So. We're just, going to, we're just going to do what we normally do. Listen, I got the food, the chicken that we made, the chicken, um, out of the oven. And, uh, and um, it's fall off the bone. It really is. Um, and, it's, and, I, and, and I think it's juicy. I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece here. And I'm, what I'm not going to do is do this and shove, because frankly, I hate that when you all do that. And I really wish I would talk to all y'all that who do YouTube videos that you would not do that. Because are, are, are you mukbangers? Please stop that. Because for me, it's annoying. Um, so I'm going to have a piece. It's good. I put some some uh, red pepper flakes in it and a little th and a little thing, and it just got a little bit of a little bit of tang. Not any real heat. It's good. I put a little wine, a little wine, a little, 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 little Justin Wilson. Not a whole cup of wine, just a little bit of wine. And so it's got a little bit of a little bit of fruitiness in it, kind of, but it's very, very tender and it's very, very juicy. And um, there you go. So that's what I did. That's the whole thing. It worked out. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, Debbie and I will be on, on Monday on Facebook. Now, we do a Facebook Live program on, on Monday morning about relationships. Uh, it's at 9 o'clock, so if you want to... But by noon, normally I have that show edited and up here on, uh, up here on, on YouTube. So, if you want to watch here, that's fine. And if you're watching our, our program on a regular basis on YouTube, please do me a favor. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends and see if they like it. Please co comment down in the comment section. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I don't have, I, for those of you who saw, you don't have any measurements for the stuff I use, but I will write in the comment section the stuff I use. Um, and you can put them in any combination you want. I don't care. Uh, so enjoy, so you can enjoy it. So again, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again for watching. Just like always, please subscribe like comment share um, and just like always uh, go out there and learn something love somebody and for goodness sakes 
Y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.